So we've got this Dell. This one is going to be our machine. The customer said you can keep it. We just did a data recovery. It's got a cracked screen. So we're just going to sell it for 150 bucks or something, you know? Or use it as a kid's machine. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll put in the 128 gig SSD. I haven't formatted it yet. But the issue is, this is the issue. So I thought we'll do a video on it. Power light on. Power button. It's working. Five beeps. <clears throat> Five beeps. Okay. All right, we get it. Dell 2330, maybe a RAM, CMOS battery failure, okay, that sounds simple, okay, so already under these screws to put a hard drive in, there's a 128 gig in there, this guy, we need to remove this guy, Good. Not good. Okay, so this has what, 12800 is 4 gig, we'll make it an 8 gig, we got tons of RAM for DDR3. Hmm. 12800S. And what's the battery of the CMOS? How do you do the light? Okay, battery's flat. Anyway, here we go. The battery voltage is... Well, I've never had a dead battery like that much. Okay, see you later, alligator. Batteries. <coughs> Any loose? Nope. Wow, so hard to rip it, okay. More rubbish. Okay.
Yep, 3.3. .3. Shit, the camera went. <coughs> There we go. Beautiful. It's got now 8 gigabytes, but I'm not sure if that extra 4 gig output is reliable or not. We'll do a mem test. Hopefully she'll be fine. Why don't we give that a quick blow? can just remove that to access the RAM, but I have to change the SIM one sec. Okay. lazy to use that yeah that'll be perfect I shall do a test day, see if it will boot or not. <coughs> That's not good, is it? Okay. That's the one I put in. That's the original one. So this has a Asus motherboard, I can tell by that font. Waiting for a beeping sound. Oh, okay, he's happy. So that ran and CMOS, two things. Okay. So we will use this for experiments, playing around with um, a soldering station. Let's get another RAM. I had a whole bag of DDR4s. Where the hell did they go? 
Oh, here it is. Yep, twelve eight hundred eh? Yep, that's fine. Okay, so that's done. Now we need M4. I think these are M4. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Okay, I don't think so. It could be this big chunky one, eh? I don't remember the size of screws I need. Okay, M3 is this one, we do know that. And M4. These guys, M4. I think they have to be the big ones. Let's try again. Okay. M4 and M4. That's where the back plate holds on to. Uh, any other screws? Don't think so. So this will go on like that. This one already has a cracked screen, unfortunately, so we don't need to be extra careful. So this will go in like that. Maybe a couple of screws for here, maybe. So we got these four. Probably two small ones, eh? 
not really sure. Does that do anything? Nothing. I think it's for different width amounts. Okay. These were for the hard drive. Okay, let's power on the unit. Import of Windows 10. No bootable device, that's fine. I3 second generation, okay, 8 gigabyte RAM, secure boot enabled, yeah, it's fine, okay. All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.